We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the L.A. Dodgers and the Texas Rangers. Digging in, Ken Pulse. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Tonight for the Dodgers, the left fielder, number 28. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball oh, just good. misses. That's ball Seven one. And I believe they'll say he yeah, broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Game time temperature tonight 62 degrees but should drop into the 50s before we're done. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Santana handles it for the first out of the game. Stepping into the box, Justin Turner. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here's the pitch. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Nope, and this is high, a ball and a strike. One oh. And a front foot curveball here that misses down and in for ball two. All even now, two and two. Turner leads off first with one away. Out of play, off to the right. Line drive to center field. Santana is there, two gone. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. From the belt, the pitch. Betts, who's often just referred to as plain old Mookie. He was a fifth round pick back in 2011. I know a lot of people weren't sure what this guy was going to become, but he has blossomed into one of the superstars in the game. What an absolute steal coming out of the middle rounds. There's Connor Falefa. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So striding in, Christopher May. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now here's the pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Softly hit out to short. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. So the base is empty here with one away, and into bat next will be Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Here's the pitch. Reached for and popped into the air, back behind second. Lux ranges back, and he has it for out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that will bring up the left-handed bat of Dominic Smith. First offering on its way. And this will be lined into center field. And they've got themselves their first hit of the ball game. Batting for the right field. Cody. Bellinger. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. Oh, as he'll watch a plate. slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And maybe oh, a little right frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Kershaw comes set. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Yeah. Two out with the man at first. Oh, 
That's three, three and one now. And I think he wanted to know where that one was. Brian Dozier would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Three two two out runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And the payoff pitch. And he fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Back goes Betts at the track. And this one is gone. A home run. Brian Dozier at the plate. As he grounds one briskly to short, reined in. Throw on to Muncie, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. Second inning set to go, and next, the dangerous power threat, Rafael Devers. Hey, we're still in the early stages yeah. in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. In there, no balls and a strike. 0 and 1. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. And another foul ball. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 0-2 once more. Ball. I got to count one and two. Right side and right into the shift. Scooped up. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Next for the Dodgers, Will Smith. Will Smith. First delivery to him on the way. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Smith brings a ton of pop to the plate with him, particularly against right-handed pitching. Some guys don't drive the ball as well when facing a pitcher who throws from the same side that they swing the bat, but that's certainly not the case here. Swing, and oh my, hit him with the hind! And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Got him to go after that one, but he's in a quick hold 0-2. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. Inside, it can be a really one. tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And the pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Digging in, Chris Taylor. And he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here it comes. First pitch fastball in there for a cold strike. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Popped him up. Dozier is there. 
And that retires the side. Last half of the second set to go. And next Ready it'll be the outfielder, Ranger, Danny Santana. Here comes the first pitch. Lays off 1-0. Kershaw playing here in his home state of Texas. He's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level, which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. Yeah, Matty, no kidding right there. I'll tell you what, the grind to get to the big leagues is so hard. Guys just want, they just want to spend a month, a day in the big that leagues. So that. to put yourself here for 12 day years day. screams Yuck to your ability out. to adjust Wee. and be a great teammate. Now the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Chasing after it is Taylor. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Up next for the Rangers, Shea Langoliers. Trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First offering on its way. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher oh, right here. Count. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Behind 0-2 now. Kershaw is ready. Here it comes. Three. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Now at the plate, Gavin Lux. And he'll start out there half the of the third, top of the, the order to follow. Number nine. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. Lux, just 21 years of age, he's a second year big leaguer. Shoots this one over to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. In now, Ken Pulse. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. And it's quickly 0-2. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. One and two. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And there's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. First pitch coming. Here it is. Chopped down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the rookie second baseman, Albert Perez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now, fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, one and one. Pitch on the way. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Betts is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. Now batting, now Christopher batting. May, over for one for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. Hit out towards second. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. The ball. The third baseman, Isaiah. Kershaw will slide one over to first. Runner back standing.
So now up steps Isaiah Connor Falefa as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Here's the 0 1. Nope, out there. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. Go to Muncie to finish the double play. That retires the side. So coming to the plate, Corey Seager. He'll start things out against Jared Eikhoff as this inning gets underway. Corey. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. One oh home. Hey. Seeger, originally from the Tar Heel state of North Carolina. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. The one one home. Runs a bit inside, inside for a ball. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seeger. Fly ball right down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. And next to be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Mookie Betts. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The pitch. Bases are empty, oh, one man one. out. And it's fouled away. And he'll try one and ball. tempt him with one in the two dirt, three. but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. So he ran now the back. fastball by him for the punch out. Mookie Rafael. Betts goes down for out yep. number two in the top half. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Just a touch outside, one, one and two. Right Last half of the seventh here, and now it'll be the Where catcher, Shea Langoliers. Goes to show you how strong this guy is. That wasn't a bad breaking ball that he hit for a home run in the last at bat. That ball was down in a way. He went out and hooked it and pulled it. This guy's definitely a good hitter. Fouled off. Here's the 1 1. High pop up. Muncie is under it. He's got it one away. Now Stepping now in, Albert Perez. Hit. Albert Perez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one. Ball in. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Hey. It's one and two. I got to count one and two. Now this pitch is swung on and popped up. And this will also head toward the right side of the infield. And there's out now number two. Number 32. 
Here's the first pitch to him. Christopher oh, May stands in as he looks at ball one here. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The balance of this hitter is perfect right now. After getting a fastball, the ability to get that kind of swing off on this guy's breaking ball. Up next to the Rangers, the third baseman, Isaiah. At the plate, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Liner towards second, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ready to begin the eighth, and stepping in the long ball threat, Will Smith. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The windup and the 0 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Santana is right there, one down. Standing in, Rex Muncy. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. First pitch on its way. Rounded down the third baseline. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he'll pull into second with one away. The center field on the three. Chris Taylor. To the plate now, Chris Taylor. He swings and grounds it to short. Dozier has it in time it. to first, and there are two away. Digging in, Gavin Lux. Now runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch on its way. Nope. Below the knees, one ball, no nope. strikes. Nope. This is line to left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. He pulls into second safely as also on the play, a run comes across to now score. Left fielder. Yeah. Oh. Stepping in now. Ken Pulse as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. That misses 2 and 0. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Left side but well foul. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four this season. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Dominic Smith. The first baseman. Pitch on the way. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1 lifted down the line in left and that is down as that could be two bases so they'll go to the bullpen now and it'll be the left hander here to face the upcoming left handed batter Cody Bellinger at the plate now. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. Smith isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they push the lead to five now. Next to the Rangers. No pushback. Ryan. Here's Brian Dozier now. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Alexander is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. One ball, one strike to count. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. I got 2-1 to count.
The count now at two and two. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's no, clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. So now to the plate, Danny Santana. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them home. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Next to the Rangers, the dedicated hitter. Yassiel. And now is Yassiel Puig yeah. as the first pitch oh, to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. So far, two for three in this one. A one and one count to Puig. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Popped up. Seeger waits on it. One away. Into the box now, Shea Langoliers. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. He's set. Here it comes. Hit in the air to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Joe Kelly enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Albert Perez will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. From the belt, the pitch. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Betts has a read on it. And that retires the side. Bill Burks takes the mound here. Not a save situation, of course, because of the big lead, but he'll try to finish it out nonetheless. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Nope. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. One and one the count now. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Burks has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of Whoa, batters. Boy, every manager and pitching coach, Matty V, they'd love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And a swing and a miss on the fastball. And there's the first out here in the ninth. Here's Corey Seager. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. First pitch on its way. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Hey, I'm surprised he went to that spot in his own. This guy's known for being a down-and-in hitter. Don't expect too many pitches going in that spot. The next 0-2. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. The one, two. And it's fouled away. The one, two. Fouled away.
And that one misses badly. It's ball two. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Mookie Betts. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat. Taking called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one. And this ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. to finish at the end of this contest the Rangers move a win away from a championship as they've taken a three to one series lead Jared Eikhoff pitches well enough to get the W so that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak and Heidi Watney this is Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more find us on Twitter at MLB the show